How's it going everyone? It's Louis Crypto here and we're going to discuss where Bitcoin is headed to after yesterday's pump. Um, I did actually make a video yesterday so if you haven't already do check that out. Make sure you are subscribed, like the video, comment below if you've you know, enjoyed it or found something of value or any questions. Otherwise go ahead and enjoy this video. Now we did actually do a live stream in the Discord community uh, last night for about one and a half hours. There was about, yeah, the peak, I think about 10 of us in there. And we were looking at Bitcoin in, in depth detail. We were even suggesting, even if Bitcoin does actually continue to pump, even above these moving averages, you'd then technically say it's bullish. You can see the last time that it broke above these moving averages after bouncing off the 200. It did lose it, so it reclaimed the 200 and pumped above those moving averages. We did put in a higher high. However, we've got some bearish divergence. And in the same situation, if we get back above, we're going to expect a big move like this. But even if it does get a big move up, I want to see 29 to 30K uh, reclaimed. Even if we pump up into that price point of 29 to 30K, it doesn't mean anything, guys. Okay, so basically, if we do get some double bottom like this and we break out validator over here, and we get up to this price point, it's still not enough for me to say the correction is over. In fact, as we can see, it was once support over here, then flipped into resistance over here. It would make sense to then dump from this point. Then you need to hold this low, form a higher low, then to have another go and break above. And that's how we would get out of uh, out of here. Whether that's right there, we break above 29K and 30K to get out, or we get rejected, form a higher low. But to be honest, in my opinion, I think that even with a pump up into that, we will eventually come lower and lose this low. Things can change and if I do see those signs, I will let you guys know, but I'm not gonna budge from my stance that uh, as we have this bearish divergence over here, I'm not sure if it's on the daily that I did see it. I think it's on the five day and the weekly. We're gonna go through that now. Let me see if it is on the daily, but uh, I wasn't too sure if it was that one. Yeah, so over here, it is also on the daily time frame, but it's on even higher time frames than the daily. We know that the daily time frame already, a strategy that's in the education, uh, we cannot ignore the general candlestick patterns or the, uh, the sorry the candlesticks themselves as well as the candlestick patterns. But either way, we've got some bearish divergence. We're seeing the chart in disagreement with this indicator over here we can see that the blue uh, cloud over here these blue clouds we've got this one higher than the one on the right whereas this one that is as you can see lower than this one on the chart itself we got higher highs so higher highs and here a disagreement lower highs essentially saying that this is a trap and we've seen it dump but we're yet to lose this so that's why we did get that pump i mentioned this in yesterday's update the reason why we're pumping right now is because it lost this support meaning that it now wants to go and attack this and it failed to close below this point so right now you do technically have higher lows and that's what's going to give us this opportunity to climb back more towards 29 and 30k not that it will reclaim it flip into support and continue with new higher highs just that is starting a pump basically in it into in and around that area. It doesn't mean that it'll ever reach, it doesn't mean that it'll go beyond it, just that it will try to get up there, and that is a key level of resistance. So the expectation is from that point to get rejected. Now let's go look at the weekly because that's what everyone uses. So we've also got higher highs over here, followed by lower highs over here. So we've got bearish divergence on the weekly, something that we can't ignore. But again, as we already explained earlier, we had the chance, we lost this support over here, we had the chance to go down and it failed to lose that low. So that's why we're getting this pump up at the moment. We can see that we're about to form a bearish cross on the weekly. If you want to invalidate that, you need a throwback, a slingshot motion that is gonna form an EMA repel where these actually do not cross over and you do something like this. The only way that happens is price climbing back above and not using it as resistance, turning it into support and then onwards and upwards. So that's how uh, we basically yeah, push through this area and avoid, that's how we avoid the bearish cross from happening, which would just say you run into this resistance and then you eventually continue lower again. We can also say that this over here is starting to look like this top over here and that uh, we're basically uh, somewhere, yeah, we're probably in this region over here. Uh, do it just coming back up and then looking to continue lower. So let's now go to a little bit of a lower time frame, the five day. Some I started off with the weekly because everyone used that. But also on the five day time frame, we're seeing the same thing. So on the daily, the five day and the weekly, we're seeing bearish divergences, basically where this indicator is not in alignment with the chart. The chart is saying higher highs, and this is just showing lower highs. So basically telling you that there's bearish divergence that needs to play out and is yet to do. So I guess it started, but because we didn't lose this, you're getting this uh, initial bounce.
bounce. We need to see the bounce fail uh, at, any pri at any price. It can fail right now, but even if we do pump at 229.30K, it could still fail from that point. That is what I'm trying to get at in today's update. And uh, if we yes, continue on the daily time frame, I've given you targets in the past around here. I'm just gonna place some fibs from this uh, lowest point over here. Uh, up to there and we can see the 1618 target 21k I think that's pretty much where the um, where the CME gap is I think the CME gap is a little bit lower but yeah it's pretty much there uh, yeah around 2021k 20, so yeah that would be filling in that CME gap it could get last year as well I think that what we're trying to do is uh, uh, if we were to lose this we can see to the left what was once resistance is now support currently and we still got that higher low giving us that chance to go up but if this support is lost this then becomes resistance then we need to look at in the past where did it dump to so we can see that it dumped to the 18 19k area over here to the 19.5k area so there's confluence in that uh, in in this area over here so we could even draw just a rough line doesn't have to be exact so there's like an ascending support uh, sending a su uh, support over here even if we go through the wicks we can see that there's some support over here some confluence again at the 1618 but uh, yeah, if we're drawing horizontal ones, yeah, we know that this area is one over here, 19 to 20K. We know that this 17.6 to about, yeah, 19K, let's just say, is also a support. You can see it's also the two targets. So to invalidate this, even if we come down to here, you need to reclaim the one fib level 24.7K and 27K and 30K. Otherwise, there's still a chance of us coming back down to these price points. It's just going to take a much longer period of time. Things can change along that path, but at least we've got a plan now, okay? If you're not aware of uh, the path that uh, any any uh, market takes, stocks, indices, Forex, and crypto, the path that it follows on the Fibonacci's, I can teach you this in the education. You can also get three months, three months totally free in my Discord community. You just need to private message me and the links are in the description down below to head over to x slash twitter.com where you'll also find more content. But yeah, the most content is gonna be uh, in the Discord community as well as here as well. So that is pretty much it from me today. Again, just to just to reiterate, just to say it again, even if we do pump now, I need to see 30K flip back into support, 29 to 30K flip back into support. Until then, even if we pump to that location, something like this, I'm just not gonna go up in a straight line, but yeah, even if you've got a pump like this, let's just say, I'm going to actually uh, use this thing called bars pattern. I'm gonna copy this. So even if we get a pump up like this, let me just get the sizing a bit better. So even if we pump up like this right now, we can see we're going to be running into a resistance. The 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 the, the actual pattern, the bars pattern, will place from here. If we're going from that high uh, to that low over there, we can say we can see it struggling and finding resistance at this point between 29 and 30k over here. So basically, even if it copies what happened to the left, it's still going to top out as a lower high. If things change, of course I will let you know. But we have a plan now. Let's see if it follows the plan. If that changes. I'll give you a new one. But other than that, that's it from me today. Please like, subscribe and comment. And yeah, any further assistance, if you want to do the education, you will get three months free in the Discord. If you just want to join the Discord, as a few people have done in the past few days, and be part of this ever-growing community that shares a whole bunch of cryptos that uh, I'm personally and everyone else is looking at to invest in, as well as doing weekly group calls as we did last night for like uh, an hour and a half, just going into in-depth detail on the Bitcoin and other altcoins, just join. And yeah, that's all, uh, all the links are in the description and pinned comment section below to head to the website or the Twitter. Cheers.